appreciate y'all, man. We back. We got another video, man. How y'all doing? Y'all doing great today. We got Karen react to light sentences. Karen's not, not no regular person. Karen's. You know what I'm saying? They in a whole different category of human race. You know what I'm saying? You got Karen's, you got Asians, you got black, you got whites. But black's really not, you feel me? Not really real, but you know it is what it is in the video. You can just assault someone. You can push them to the ground and only walk away with a 45 day sentence. For sure, we've all seen a Karen or two, right? They have amassed massive popularity for getting arrested for their supremely obnoxious behavior. But what happens after they get arrested? Let's find out. Number five, Donna Kosal. The first Karen was sentenced to 93 days in jail after a judge caught her laughing days. during the family's victim statement at her daughter's fatal DUI sentencing. She was later released after giving a tearful apology in court. Donna Kosal was jailed what? for contempt of court in Detroit. When, when has that ever happened? A shocking outburst as her 25-year-old daughter Amanda was waiting to hear her sentence for slaying father of five, Jerome Zerker. After spending a night in jail, Kosal returned to face Judge Kiana Lillard again as she sobbed through an apology. Kosal was released after just one night in jail. She had initially been thrown out of the courtroom along with her unidentified boyfriend when the victim's sister took the stand and read a statement on behalf of his five children. Video from inside the courtroom showed the judge losing patience with the man and then Kosal after she caught them smirking. She then ordered officers to bring the mother back in so she could sentence her they to think, they think it's like a joke. That what it is, bro. for contempt of court. During the sentencing of her daughter, who was being sentenced for operating while impaired causing death. I brought this matter back today because yesterday I held Miss Kosal in direct criminal contempt because of her disrespectful and disruptive behavior. She got up, stormed out, violently burst through the door and began yelling in the hallway. She can be immediately jailed for a maximum period of up to 93 days. Miss Kosal, is there something you'd like to say? Yes, I deeply apologize for what I did. I was under a lot of stress. I deeply apologize for what I did in your court. I just needed to get out and <laughs> judge Lillard slammed the pair for being disrespectful. Yeah, no the judge way, then bro. turned her attention to the mother. Her daughter, Amanda Kosal, pleaded guilty to... You can check if Ernest is the right fit for you in just a few minutes. That made no sense, bro. ...slaying Jerome Zerker, 31, and severely injuring his fiance Brittany Johnson, also 31. She was sentenced to 3 to 15 years in prison. Amanda Jeez. slammed into the couple after Zerker had picked up his fiance from her 12-hour shift as a care worker at a group home. Ordinarily, their five kids would have been with them, but Johnson said they were at their grandmother's instead. Number four, Cassandra Jackson. Cassandra Jackson. A Hamilton County Common Pleas Court magistrate says he was forced to resign after video cameras caught him chasing a woman, namely Cassandra Jackson, down courthouse hallways and leading her by hand into his courtroom, then ordering her arrested, sparking a violent incident that spread from his courtroom to the jail. Former magistrate Michael Bachman she told she media doing too much, court bro. administrator Patrick Dressing personally told him to resign or be terminated. I think the video speaks for itself, Bachman said in his defense. I didn't choke her or manhandle her. I merely put my hand up to guide her to the courtroom. Bachman says he left the bench to confront Cassandra Jackson on September 4 because she was yelling outside his courtroom and disrupting a hearing. As the video begins, you can see Jackson trying to file for a protection order but staffers told her she missed the deadline and would have to come back. Witnesses say Jackson got angry and argued with them, and Bachman claimed he couldn't hear an attorney question a witness. Nine seconds after Jackson walked away, Bachman charged through the door to the hallway. <laughs> Bachman jogged after her, pointing at her and ordering her to return to his courtroom. He caught up to her at the public elevators, and they started walking back. So he's not supposed to like... As Jackson started... He's not, he not supposed to be doing all that, I'm guessing? I don't know. I don't know how the court system works. started to go down a side hallway, Bachman put his hand on the back of her shoulder and guided her back on the correct path, then kept his hand there for 23 seconds until he pushed her into a seat in the jury box. Bachman and Jackson continued talking. Once in the courtroom, the incident almost immediately flared up when Bachman notified Jackson that she was being arrested for contempt of court. Jackson resisted two deputies' attempts to arrest her. The deputies, assisted by courtroom staff, struggled to subdue her. Once Jackson was handcuffed, she still resisted, and those deputies and several others dragged her down hallways and elevators to the justice Damn, bro, y'all can't, can't tame us? 
and later moved it's her three to y'all, you know, you know. Jackson was freed two days later by presiding Judge Kim Wilson Burke. Burke ordered the contempt charge and the rest of Jackson's 10-day sentence dropped for good cause. Number three, Penelope Soto. Gives me as a young South Florida woman's defiant profanity and waving of the middle finger to a judge turned into an etiquette lesson when the tearful woman publicly apologized for her behavior. Penelope Soto's flipping the bird at Miami-Dade Circuit Judge Jorge Rodriguez Chomat had landed her a 30-day jail sentence for contempt of court, and it drew national headlines as a video of it went viral online. But 18-year-old Soto was later solemn as she acknowledged to Rodriguez Chomat that she was wrong for insulting him. Her lawyer and relatives stood next to her as she apologized. Soto's legal case began when authorities arrested her She's after awesome. she allegedly told him she was on Xanax bars and three green baggies filled with Xanax were found in her purse. After the hearing, Soto smiled and stroked her hair and laughed when Rodriguez Chomat asked her about her jewelry and other assets for the purposes you know of way, setting man. her bond amount. Rodriguez Chomat had initially set her bond at $5,000 and said bye-bye, and Soto laughed <laughs> and bye -bye. adios. Soto, are you working? Yes. How much money are you making a week, approximately? Approximately about 200 bucks a week. What do you own? <laughs> I own a lot of jewelry, all right. Uh, uh, how much would you say your jewelry is worth? <laughs> it's not a joke, you know. We are not a, we are not in a club now. It made me laugh. I apologize. It's all right. How much is your jewelry worth? It's worth a lot of money. Like what? Come okay. one would be 5,000 for our cost found. Would be bye bye. Adios. Rodriguez Chomat <laughs> summoned her back and raised her bond to $10,000, shocking Soto. Soto started to walk away when she flipped Rodriguez Chomat. Who says adios after? And expletive you. She was called back again, and Rodriguez Chomat handed down the 30 day contempt sentence, after which she apologized at the next hearing. Come back, ma'am. Come back. Come back, come back again. Back again. Come back again. <laughs> did you say that? Yes, sir, oh, you did say that? I find you in direct criminal contempt. 30 days in the county jail. To Amber Rocco, an Oregon woman <laughs> she, she, she she a and shouting racial <laughs> that's, that's that's so a pity, couple bro. at a McMinnville parking lot has been sentenced to 30 days in jail. Amber Rocco of Wilhelmina pleaded oh, guilty nah, to intimidation, bro. unlawful use of a weapon, and harassment. In addition to 30 days in jail, she was sentenced to three years of probation. Imora Roberson posted video on Facebook of Rocco's racist Christmas Eve tirade, and it quickly She's went viral. Roberson told media the dispute began because her aunt parked crooked at a strip mall on Highway 99W. Roberson said she was with her boyfriend, aunt, and 15-month-old daughter who was in the back seat. The video started in the middle of the argument. At the beginning of the video, Rocco was clutching a knife. Robertson said So like what happened Rocco though? Like spit on her boyfriend and slapped him before she spit. began recording. Spit. No, nah, spit is crazy, bro. Spitting spitting is <laughs> The words coming nah, out of bro. my mouth was I am defending myself. You guys can hear it plain as day. The weapon that I was holding in my hand was facing backwards. The blade in my hand was facing backwards, everybody. So Great. what is wrong with that? She said her boyfriend was warning Rocco about her behavior when she pulled out the knife. Rocco later no said she was acting in self-defense, a claim Robertson has firmly denied. Rocco also apologized for her behavior following a previous court appearance. She spit. She spit on him and slapped him. That's crazy, bro. Like, okay, you need to back up. Spit and slap. I mean, I don't know what she had no to way, do. Bro. So it was no way, surprising right. to me. Number one, Lena Hernandez, the woman accused of racist tirades against Asians in Torrance over a period of time, has been sentenced to jail for attacking a woman at a mall in 2019. Lena Hernandez, 54, of Long Beach agreed to plead no contest to misdemeanor battery in exchange for a sentence Bruh. of 47 she is too old to be doing all this man she might was it gone just she let the crew you know what i'm saying just vibe to you you feel me it's your time but 
stays no. in county jail. That's too much, that's too much three years years probation years. with anger management classes. She was also ordered to stay at least 100 yards away from the victim and the mall where the attack happened. The victim of the attack, as well as others outraged by her racist words, are not happy, saying Hernandez should have done more time. Hernandez was caught on camera at least twice this year, delivering rants at a Torrance Park directed at Asian Americans. In one incident, she told a woman who was exercising the park to go back to whatever expletive Asian country you belong in. In another, she spoke to a mock was, Asian was accent, wrong her, bro. telling a man at the park to go home and calling him China Man. China Man. Did you just make you a racist home. comment? You know what? I am not a racist person. You just you just made but a racist you know what? comment. You need to go home. You're Do you know how many people right can't now? stand you being oh, here? Great. You play games. We don't play games. Respect. Respect, Respect people. I, Lady. I will be. I, bro, I look at her, bro. What's the point? No point. Bro. And your language and Respect. China man. After those incidents came to light, Salmoneo spoke out on Twitter saying she had been hurt by Hernandez at the Del Amo Mall in Torrance the year before, and police took what? no action after she filed her report. The victim said Hernandez was verbally hurting a custodian at the mall, and when the victim tried to intervene, Hernandez hurt her and pushed her to the ground. She shoved me to the ground, according to Salmoneo's victim statement read in court. I attempted to stand my ground. She pulled my hair, held my head to the ground, and punched me multiple times on the back of my head. In court, she urged the judge to reject the plea deal, saying she continues to endure psychological trauma from the attack. For nine months, I could not go to the places we enjoyed because I feared having to see her again in our community, she said. Salmoneo said Torrance Man, police no way, did not take her complaint seriously enough. What kind of message does it send to other perpetrators, other people, other violent racists out there that you can just assault someone, you can push them to the ground? What she did was violent. It was a violent attack to me. So it should have been the maximum amount. And only walk away with a 45 day sentence? Hey man, you should, you should, you should have just, you should have took care of that. The Torrance City Attorney's Office she's trying, she's trying to do you something filed a criminal Take complaint for battery against Hernandez, a misdemeanor. Police arrested Hernandez in July for misdemeanor battery in the mall attack. You gotta take the care of that. Maneo said the sentence was insufficient and sends the wrong message to others. What message does it send to other perpetrators, other violent racists out there that you can just hurt someone, you can push them to the ground, and only walk away with a 45-day sentence? Hey, man. My opinion, bro. If the person doing all that to you, you might well just... Hold your own, bro. Do do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, people people nowadays they don't like. Ain't gonna need. Ain't gonna need to say nothing. I hope you got like video, man. See y'all tomorrow. Bro.